Hi guys, it's Sunelius, and welcome to this replay of World of Tanks, playing in the Löwe, a German premium tank. Alright, let's speed up the gameplay a little bit. So we're trying to get into position. We're basically starting off in the northwest corner here. And we're basically driving along this, uh, this yeah, a little bit swampy area down here to get down to the castle, which is in the southwest corner. Alright, just speeding up again a little bit. First few units of the enemy are sighted now. Alright, still nothing really happening. We'll see some stuff happening in just a second. Alright, so the first enemy unit close by has actually hit us. And it actually has hit us in such a fashion, there he is, that we actually lost control of our turret. So we couldn't actually move our turret around anymore. But, okay, we only did a little bit of damage to him, about, uh, yeah, a little bit, not too much, but still, sufficient for us to be able to help take him out. 482 damage, and our turret has been repaired. Now, there's a premium enemy tank there, <coughs> the Tiger 131, which we should be able to aim at nicely in just a second, at least if he were to back up, because, as you can see, a fair number of our allies are actually on the other side of that castle wall, and there, first shot has gone into his side. He's taken a shot at me, and unfortunately he was actually able to penetrate that. He actually took the lower glacis down there. We're going to take another shot over at him. Because, yeah, my gun is far, far more powerful than his gun. And unfortunately he again is able to penetrate. And that's a second one in the lower glacis. Perfect. So we knocked him out. So we knocked out that heavy tank <coughs> enemy tiger 131 there's a tank destroyer of theirs there but we also have got a few other tanks to our left which is basically to the east of us there's a couple of our enemy tanks a kv2 another kv2 both of them in positions where i hopefully will be able to take shots at them all right there we go ah there's another tank an m4a1 revision Oops, we got damaged by the M4. Ooh, the KV-2 took a shot at us. Both of them seem to have taken a shot at us, I think. Ouch, they are hitting us quite strongly. All right, nice. I was able to take out that one. Uh, yes, bang, it blew up. Just thanks to the fact that I was able to put it on fire. Took it the last bits of its strength. Am I able to aim at that one? Nope. There's another KV-2 down there. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to penetrate that one. So we took out a KV-2. And there's another two KV-2s remaining. So that means, of course, that they had yeah, three to start off with. All right, I'm trying to use this rock here as a bit of a shield. So basically, when I'm reloading, I basically drive up to it. And I'm basically when I'm close to load it again, I basically take another shot at him. There, that was a nice penetrating shot. Right, so we were able to bounce or reflect about a thousand points of damage. Wasn't able to penetrate our armor, so that's good. So neither of the KV2s are actually within uh, range where I can actually hit them at the moment. Is there another unit there? Maybe. Let's just move up a little bit. And yes, I'm able to take that one out. So that's my third kill. Oops, I got hit by the uh, M4A1. I'm able to hit him quite nicely as well. Nice 344 damage. Again, I'm still using that rock here as a bit of a shield. Now, I know I'm a heavy tank, but uh, yeah, every tank can still be penetrated. Luckily, my spotting of that uh, tank was able to help us take him out. Now, unfortunately, I just missed that one. Leo. Alright, let's see if we can actually go and maybe try to take out the uh, enemy artillery. Our team has been able to take out almost the entire enemy team already. Twelve of the enemy team. There's still three remaining. Now, the ar enemy artillery was able to basically stun some of my crew, but they actually didn't ha damage me. So that's, that's in my favor. Now, another one of the enemy team was taken down, so there's only two of them left. A tank destroyer. The Rheinmetall Borsch Waffentrager, and of course the uh, 
GW Panther. And that was taken out as well. So that's pretty much the end of this game. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Alright, a quick look at the post-battle results. We were actually able to gain a nice 100,000 credits here. 3,000 XP, and of course one of the bonds. Now as you can see, we top ranked in our team. Nice, more than 1,000 base uh, experience we gained here. Plus, of course, a very, very decent amount of damage we dealt. And of course, in terms of credits, the actual post cost credits still 80,000 plus. So, as you can see, playing a premium tier 8 tank is still quite profitable. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and uh, yeah, we'll see you hopefully in the next uh, replay. In the meantime, take care.